propeller show your number one show it's propeller show your number one show and now to the show our wonderful viewers we bring you none other than philip that is chukulisa's husband her best friend her better half and the man that she waited for we are very excited to have you in the show philip Thank you so much. Chikulisa, we are excited to have you. And thank you so much because of coming along with Philip to the show. We know your story will be such an inspiration and an encouragement to many. Yeah. So uh, to begin with, maybe uh, in our last edition, we got to know who Chikulisa was. So we want to know who is Philip. Uh, I'm Philip Gando Bake. I come from Marsabet Central, Marsabet County. Uh, I am born again, wow. Christian. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Uh, I'm blessed uh, to have the love of my heart wow. as my worried legal married wife. Wow. Legal married wife? Yes. Wow. And uh, I'm glad mm -hmm. that she's called by my name yes. and I'm happy. Wow. Uh, I am a graduate mm -hmm. of Bachelor of Education Science, Mathematics yes. Chemistry yes. from Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started working in 2016 with Teacher Service Commission. Mm -hmm. And then from there, after some two years, mm -hmm. I quit my job for the sake of my family. Yes. And uh, currently, I'm working in Nairobi with a private school. Yeah. And so, there I am. So the teaching profession still goes on. Still goes on. Wow. So I'm very excited to host you today in the Propellers show because uh, we want to discuss this matter that has been actually a trouble and a problem to many young people out there. And so we want to hear a little bit of your story regarding uh, your relationship, your dating time, your courtship, and as well as now crossing over to the marriage side. So probably we can begin with the relationship. Uh, Philip, how did you get to meet the wonderful Christine? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, it's interesting yes. uh, how I met her. Mm -hmm. There was a conference back at our home church mm -hmm. at SEK Segante. That yes. is my church. Yes. And uh, this day we had a conference mm -hmm. that goes for four days. Mm -hmm. We invited many leaders from different areas, Ethiopia and stuff. Yeah. And that day I was leading a program. Mm -hmm. It was a morning session. Mm -hmm. That was back in 2012, wow. April. Uh -huh. And so I was leading the program mm -hmm. as usual as I lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, out of the many congregations mm -hmm. that I saw, mm -hmm. there was this pretty lady mm -hmm. that I saw from far. Mm -hmm. And uh, truly speaking, I, I got something yes. new in my mind. Yes. And I felt there was something uh, that I saw. Wow. So can we say it was love at first sight? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, okay, I went on with the program as usual. And uh, after the service, mm -hmm. in the evening, it was bonding time. Mm -hmm. So I did not have all the courage to meet her. Yes. So I took some of my friends, uh, bonding time. So I went to greet her. Yeah. And that day, that time, mm -hmm when I greeted her mm -hmm. and uh, talked to her and we shared a bit of testimonies yes. and how the service was, mm -hmm. uh, was the new day that I still recall as if it was yesterday. Wow. That uh, is when I met her. That is when you met her. Yes. Christine, do you agree? Yes. You still remember that moment? I remember the moment. And was it the same for you? And Did uh, you see him leading the program and you're like, wow, who is that man on the altar? Uh, for me, it was different uh -huh. because how I even went to the conference, yes. it was in a village mm -hmm. far away from where I live in town. Okay. And I overheard the conference being announced in a radio station. In a radio station. And I was interested to go, and I didn't know anywhere, anyone mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So I asked my mom if she could find someone I can stay with for those four days because it was after school, mm -hmm. and I was so I had this desire to really know God the more. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the conference. I had some relatives I didn't know there. Mm -hmm. So I went mm -hmm. and stayed there. Yes. So 
I was in the conference and I met Philip and he was someone I didn't meet before. So even when he was leading the program, for me it was normal. Just like someone leading the program but yes. he was someone I never met yes. before. Yes. So after the program and when now he came with his friends mm -hmm. to say hi to me and they, they tried to interrogate me because <laughs> later they confessed <laughs> that they were wondering uh -huh. what do I need from God coming from town and to being a, uh, to a village. Uh -huh. Now what do I need from God yes. that I come to seek, yes. look for God uh -huh. in the village. Uh -huh. So they probed me a lot about my work with God yes. in my life and we got to know each other. But now how I became, I ended up being friends with mm -hmm. Philip out mm -hmm. of the many friends mm -hmm. is we had one thing in common. Yes. Of all those guys, Philip was the only one who was in campus by then, he was in the university. Oh. <laughs> so I felt like I could relate with him because I was More. headed there uh -huh. and I felt like maybe I could, he could help me and I could learn from him. Mm -hmm. So that was how we started becoming friends. So that was friends. moment number one for the two of you. Yes. Wow, that is interesting. And uh, Philip, how did you get to know that she was the one? How did you know that she is the one? Okay, uh, again, it, is, it was uh, a time when I was, it was almost get, I was almost getting to that year mm -hmm. by then. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a time also I felt it is a season that I needed one person whom I can work with so that mm -hmm. as we go by and as time goes, mm -hmm. we can get married together. Mm -hmm. So it was a season of search for me. Yes. And uh, so you were all your antennas were on and checking. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I prayed about it. Yes. I was asking God, uh, now that I'm almost getting to finish mm -hmm. my university, mm -hmm. uh, help me get one person whom I can work with, not to be like any other boys around. Yes but someone whom I can uh, mentor mm -hmm. and also whom we can share the word together, mm -hmm. be a partner, mm -hmm. be a friend. Mm -hmm. And at one point we get uh, to marry one another. Yes. So that was my intention that season. Yes, that season. So, so you, you began by, by praying about it. Yes. But how sure were you that this is actually, that it is not any other True, thing. true. Yes. So having those minds and uh, knowing that you know, it's the responsibility of a man mm -hmm. to find a wife yes. and that is what God has told us to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I was in the process of finding mm -hmm. and probably uh, there are some laid down uh, qualities that I was looking for in someone. Yes. So uh, after I met the pretty lady mm -hmm. and I saw her from far, got close to greet her mm -hmm. and say hi, mm -hmm. uh, there were things that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So I became friends, mm -hmm. we shared the mm -hmm. cell uh, number mm -hmm. and from there we started talking mm -hmm. and as days went by I found the qualities that I was looking for were in her were in her wow and uh, I did not introduce uh, that uh, yes. plan that I had yes. but I was just doing my studies <laughs> from far okay and so uh, uh -huh. I probed enough uh -huh. and as also I was praying about it mm -hmm. Uh, I had that inner conviction. Wow. I know uh, wow. since I found her, mm -hmm. I found uh, peace in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, who is this lady? Mm -hmm. So as time went by, I found out that it is she the lady that I was looking for. Wow. She had all the qualities that I wanted, mm -hmm. the fear of God, mm -hmm. uh, that humility, yes. and the desire to grow. Wow. What I loved so much about her is that exactly. desire to grow. Every wow. day she could ask me a question, mm -hmm on the word mm -hmm. how did jesus how did this one happen mm -hmm. how can somebody grow loving that uh, godly life yeah wow. so that is what i found in her and all i was looking for was, was that because wow. all along as i was serving in the church yes. i was saying god give me someone who loves you and who fears you and who has the desire to grow in you so when i found her i said truly it is her mm -hmm. And that inner conviction taught yes. me, ah, she's the one. And to you, Christine, um, in the society right now and even in the world today, we find that uh, most ladies actually even prefer to stay single because now men have become an issue in the society. How did you come to say yes to this one man? Uh, around that time when I met Philip, it was around a time when I was I had just completed my phone first mm -hmm. and uh, there are very many men and young men and boys around yes. me who are interested in me yes. and at some point I felt like I was so much confused mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, 
I came awake, I was awakened to the fact that if I don't take care, mm -hmm. these men will end up putting me in trouble. Yes. And I don't know why I kept on knowing since I was young, just from observation, observing mm -hmm. people older than me, that some men can have you as their girlfriend, waste you and leave you. And leave you. That was something yes. I knew. Mm -hmm. So I just realized that I might end up losing myself. Mm -hmm. And so I went into prayers and I told God. And I was very ready for a relationship by the way at that age. As young and as a relationship you to be specific that would lead to marriage. Wow. Uh, so Christine, can you tell us like for how long did you date Philip? Uh, I started dating Philip mm -hmm. in from September mm -hmm. 2013. September 2013. Yes. And when did you two tie the knot? We tied the knot in August 25th, uh -huh. 2018. 2018, yes. so approximately five, five years. years. Yeah. Five years. I believe five years is such a long time when you're dating and there are challenges that come through. So what was this one major challenge that you actually went through? One major challenge. When you look back, I, I know there are so many challenges that you went through. But what was this one major challenge that, that hit you during that time of dating and courting? Yes. Um, one major challenge mm -hmm. was uh, the time. Mm -hmm. The time. Mm -hmm. The time was too long mm -hmm. for us to date. Yes. And yet I was in school. Mm -hmm. He was also in school uh -huh. partly. Uh -huh. And uh, I wouldn't get married when I'm still schooling. Yes. So we had to wait. Yes. So the waiting period is long. Mm -hmm. The temptations are also too many. Yes. And sometimes you get bored. Uh -huh. We were tempted to be bored with the relationship, mm -hmm. but I thank God because we, we kept on uh, pushing, pushing and pushing and we yeah. had a slogan every day we tell ourselves, I don't love you like I loved yesterday. you yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm loving you in a new way today. Wow. So your love today is day one. Wow. Tomorrow again it's day, day one. one. So, so kept you kept on renewing it as day one. You kept on renewing it every day, every day, every yes. day. But that time was too long for, for us to date. Mm -hmm. um, it was too long. It so, was too long. Yeah. So time was one major time challenge. Was, was, was uh -huh. Philip, do you have the same feeling that time was one of your biggest challenges? Sure, yeah. Time, time was the major one. Yeah. And uh, just like she said, mm -hmm. it is true maybe at times when you look at, at the time you started dating, she's a student, you cannot do anything about it. So we were Absolutely. encouraging one another and waiting. Uh, from my side, mainly another big challenge that I had was uh, there was that financial constraint I had, and uh, being a student and you know trying to work in a relationship with someone uh, was quite challenging. So it was a challenge even to have a meeting like this, yes. you know, meeting with her, talking to her. And, and even sharing. speaking of that, you two worked it out long distance. Um, yes, how did it, it, work? Was, it was a long distance for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, it was long distance yes. because he was in KU main campus, Nairobi, and I was in Kitui campus. Yes. So yeah. we always had a distance. Uh, actually, we had a distance relationship till marriage. Because till even marriage. after mm -hmm. he finished school, he mm -hmm. went back to work in Moyale, mm -hmm. and I was left in school then after finishing school i went to i came to work in nairobi so it has always been distant yeah that distance yes. but uh, we we like the distance again because it is a strength yes. because uh having that distance also helps you from getting into some temptations yes. so but uh you know uh, also you know sometimes you reach one another through calls yes. uh honestly speaking she understood me yes. and that was the good part of her but at times there was a time I couldn't call because I was a student. I could go to buy maybe the needs that I have, mm -hmm. which are basic, mm -hmm. and I could not make even a call mm -hmm. because of lacking uh, airtime. But and you that still was life. trusted but one another. And the good part of it is we yes. trusted one another. Uh -huh. She encouraged me. Mm -hmm. I encouraged her. Mm -hmm. The time we get to chat mm -hmm. with one another, it was all about God has a purpose in our life. He has a reason to why He brought us together, and. Though the beginning is small, we knew that God will make our end to be big. Wow. So, uh, actually, that is what convinced me 
that she is the lady that I was looking for. Because she was also patient with you. Patient, yes. understanding, yes. so ready to understand me, yes. and always encouraging me. Wow, yeah. that is such a testimony. And I'm meant to understand because I've heard that both of you come from us a bit. So um, during that time when you were just almost tying the knot, um, how was it like for you? Did your people um, appreciate Philip when he was coming in to uh, ask for your hand in marriage? And did your people embrace Christine when now you are like, this is the woman that I've chosen? Or how was it uh, like for the two of you? Christine, we can start off with you. The, the issue of cultural differences mm -hmm. has always been an issue and a fear in our relationship, even as we went on dating. That means that the two of you um, you have a cultural line. We have a cultural line because I am a Borana yes. and he is a Burji. Okay, okay. And those, these two communities are like rivals. Mm -hmm. Even at home, they never intermarry, they hardly intermarry. Mm -hmm. So there was that gap and difference between the two communities. Mm -hmm. And so here we are, two people from two different communities that don't like each other. And like we are dating by faith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, and we were yes. there dating by faith for five years believing that someday we are going to break the barriers mm -hmm. of cultural differences mm -hmm. and that we are going to, mm -hmm. to marry. Mm -hmm. So God was faithful, but it, was, it, it has always been a fear. And I can also say even as I tried to disclose the issue of me having someone already and wanting to settle down with someone, even to my mom, I had that fear. Mm -hmm. And definitely even as I shared with my people, there was that feedback that I, I got that was not good. Why would you want to marry someone from that community? Yes. Does it mean there's no one from our community that you could marry? Why do you want to, to get us to be close with that community? Of course, those questions were there all over around me, but there was a secret mm -hmm. that made us, made us overcome. Yes. And we, because we had made an agreement that the two of us, mm -hmm. that we are going to, no matter what, mm -hmm settled down together mm -hmm. because we stood on the word of God. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture in Ephesians that says he himself is our peace mm -hmm. because he has made the two one yes. and he broke the, divide, the, the dividing yes. wall of hostility. Yes. And Paul was talking about the Jews and the Gentiles mm -hmm. and he was saying in Christ they are one. There's no different. Mm -hmm. Everyone is equal. Mm -hmm. And we stood on that word and we said that, that we are going. It kept mm -hmm. us going and we said that we are going mm -hmm. to settle down mm -hmm. no matter our mm -hmm. cultural differences. And we knew that we might set an example. Yes. We believed we are going to set an example mm -hmm. even for others who might fall in love mm -hmm. and be afraid to reach to that level of marriage mm -hmm. just because of the cultural differences. The cultural differences. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was it like for you? Yeah, the same thing? Yeah. sure. Being a man, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of people commenting negatively, From including even my yes. parents. Yes and uh, so close people around me, mm -hmm. asking me how I ended up getting to a different community, mm -hmm. looking for a different girl in a different community. Yes. No, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, many people actually were against it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't have the basis to why, mm -hmm. but because of the meat, I know the mindset they have, they had a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, at some point they even asked us not to marry. But uh, God is faithful. He helped me. He helped her. We stood by our decision and we asked even for the favors from the parents because of what our heart felt. Because many a times we want to marry but involve other ideas, which are sometimes good, but the most important part is your idea. What is your decision? What does your heart feel about it? So you went all the way just with your decision my decision and uh, try to humbly request even my parents probably some people don't understand and uh, you know most of the times we say we have grown in the world we are Christians and we fail to follow some of the key uh, rules those aspects that are required in us being like Christ uh, you know in Christ there is no this tribe there is no the other tribe there is no different community the word says we are one and so uh, it took long for us to explain ourselves that we are one because people look at us and see us as different communities but we never saw each other as different because we so say that kept you going that kept yeah us. yeah and, and from the word go mm -hmm. uh, our relationship we said we lay our relationship on our faith wow. and uh, god being the foundation mm -hmm. 
we said we fear none, no one else around us. So we kept on even requesting, we cannot go uh, against our parents, yeah. but we tried all we can to request them so that they can yes. help us uh, to walk through this journey and even get married. And we thank God, we thank our parents. Yes because they finally agreed finally and we through. had a wonderful marriage but the challenge the challenge was that cultural, cultural difference, difference. Wow. Mm. and uh, how old are you in your marriage right now we are um, nine months can you say that for your case marriage is a bed of roses or there are challenges that you have already encountered in the previous say like nine months that you've been in it uh, I agree to the fact that marriage is not a bed of roses, uh -huh. and uh, one of the challenges that we have experienced in our marriage mm -hmm. is the distance, mm -hmm. which was so major for us. Mm -hmm. My husband worked, was working in Moyale, mm -hmm. I'm working in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and sometimes working, even going for field works in Kakamega. Okay. And uh, the distance was too big. Mm -hmm. So around four months down the line, I, was, I wasn't even feeling like I was married. Yes. Because my husband is far. Wow. You are all una alone. Una. Hey. You don't, you don't cook, you uh -huh. sleep. So I was feeling like I'm not yet a wife. I was not yes. feeling the marriage. So yes. the distance was so tough yes. for us. That was the challenge that we had, the major. The other challenge is when you meet, uh, even having dated Philip for five years, mm -hmm. I came to realize that I still don't know him much. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, a learning experience. Marriage is a school. Mm -hmm. Baba, you start learning this person, you start All learning his family. characters, yes. and there are things you also need to unlearn so that now you can have your common ground mm -hmm. from which you operate mm -hmm. as a family. Yes. So how did you overcome the distance challenge, Philip? Yeah, uh, distance was the main challenge mm -hmm. that we had. Mm -hmm from the time we started dating mm, all up the to way the to marriage. marriage yes and even after marriage yes. i was working in moyale mm -hmm. she got a chance to work in nairobi so the distance was too uh, wide mm -hmm. and uh, i always prayed that god will open us away and give us uh, an answer to the prayer that you are making because truly as she said the distance that we had was wide and then that feeling of you know we are nearly married and then we are not staying at one place it's a time we were to be together and to learn one another so we felt the distance was wide and uh, at some point i felt like uh, uh, it is a time for me to decide and say uh, family first then my job later so i just trusted in the lord and uh, we decided uh, after some agreement that we made we said let it be but family first and then our job come later. Yes. So since uh, uh, we had that agreement, we decided that I quit my job, not for any reasons, but just for the sake of my family. So you so quit the job in Moyale and relocated to Nairobi? Yeah, uh -huh. I quit my job in Moyale. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, with no even hope of getting another one, mm -hmm. but just to make sure that our family is together, we can bond together. It's a time, a season for us to learn one another, uh, work together and even encourage one another. So uh, that's how I decided. So that was it. You yeah, quit your job, you came to job. Nairobi, and right now you got another job. Yeah, Nairobi. I thank God. Uh, I knew we were sharing and we said, truly, if we decide for the sake of this marriage, an institution that God ordained, mm -hmm. and we, know, we knew that God is the one who made it, mm -hmm. we said, if we quit for the sake of this family, God has another way. Wow. And so we trusted and immediately so I left that other job. Yes. I went for an interview uh -huh. and then the next week I was in another job. Wow. And that is how that good is God is. A yeah. Allow me to say Eric, yes. that uh, one thing we need to learn and even our viewers need to learn mm -hmm. is that marriage is an institution that God ordains and he honors the institution. And any sacrifice made for the sake of marriage, God comes through and he wow. rewards. Like my husband said, for around a week down the line, he was already working. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, Immediately right? after quitting, the next week, he's working. The next working. week, he's there working. Wow. So came, God came through for us mm -hmm. like a sap, ah. mbio, mbio. Yes. and yeah. we really thank God for that. Brilliant. So marriage is not just yes. a, a, a partnership agreement mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that, but marriage is an institution that God honors. Mm -hmm. And we really need to honor that and we really need to 
or love our families and put our families and always give them a priority mm -hmm. because God is going to sustain it. You know, if God makes something, mm -hmm. he's going to sustain, sustain it. it. So we don't have to get so much worried about the sustenance. Mm -hmm. We need to just position ourselves to the place that God has mm -hmm. placed at, and that is in a family or in a marriage. So once we are there, the Lord is going to make them here. I think uh, what many people are lacking today is sacrifice. I think it is all about sacrifice that you make so that another way can open. Wow. So if you want happiness, you have to look for it. And uh, truly when I thought of thinking how I can get closer to her and get that happiness, God opened another way to give us the happiness wow. even in terms of job. Wow. So we are very happy. Wow. We are so glad. Uh -huh. And living a very happy, close family. Yes. That's why you met <laughs> us together today. Wow. And again, Eric, uh -huh. marriage is ref a reflection of our relationship with Christ. The relationship between Christ and his church. Mm -hmm. And it's a relationship of sacrifice. It's a relationship of love. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship of faith. Mm -hmm. Compassion and all those things. So, so if you want things. to know how mm -hmm. marriage looks like, mm -hmm. what are the challenges that comes through when you're in marriage, how can you overcome mm -hmm. that? Look at the relationship between God, Christ and the church. And look yeah. onto the cross yes. and your marriage is going to to be stable and it's going to be sustained. Mm -hmm. It might not be a bed of roses, mm -hmm. but if you have uh, the right focus and just look onto the cross and learn from the relationship between Christ and the church, your marriage will also grow. Wow. Wow, I am very excited because of that wonderful session that we have just had. And you say that marriage comprises of all those things. And we are very excited because I know our viewers and their stories will never remain the same. So probably in um, one word, one word each, you can just uh, tell something to our viewers, just one secret that will make marriage work in one word. Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, true. They say it's not bed of roses, but truly I tell you and I tell my viewers that marriage is so beautiful. It's a nice thing to be in and uh, many people fear getting married because of some small things, the small issues that they hear about marriage. But the good part, the taste of the marriage is so, so great. It's so sweet than what other challenges that comes along with that. So uh, I would like to encourage my viewers that uh, when you want to decide getting into something, at times you need to have that inner meeting, decide on your own, agree on your own, and then when you come out, you come out boldly. So you decide with God, pray about it, trust in the Lord that he can do it greatly, so and walk out knowing that God is with you. Wow. At times you can miss people around you, but when you stand with the Lord, it I tell you, it will be strong and well. Wow. Yeah. I will say marriage is lovely, it is beautiful, mm -hmm. and uh, for anyone who wants to get into marriage, mm -hmm. or who is already in marriage, I will say this, work on your foundation. If your foundation is okay, mm -hmm. marriage, which looks like now the building, mm -hmm. is going to be okay. If your foundation is God, you're going to uh, thrive and you're going to be well in that marriage. And for those who are already in marriage and might be wondering what they got themselves into, I will just to I want to advise them, let them reconsider their foundation wow. and how it looks like. Wow. If they can be able to renovate that, then I think their marriage is going to be well. Wow, thank you so much, Philip and Christine because of that wonderful session. Our wonderful viewers, we are very grateful because of that wonderful moment that you have been with us as we journeyed through the relationship, dating, courtship, and even marriage with our guest Philip and Christine. And we want to thank you so much because of the continual support that you have given unto us. Kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the icons below. You can as well like this video, share this video that we may inspire a lot of lives far and wide in the society so that we can make a better place for us tomorrow. Apart from all that, we are still on with the Propellers County Tour for the high schools and everything is great because the Propellers Show is the place of insight and inspiration. Until next time, God bless you. I am your host, Eric Kamiti. We unite, we ignite.